you might be surprised to find out the Crew Motor Fest has engine swaps. I actually went the whole early access and the whole beta having no idea. Which means we could take something like this beautiful, beautiful Porsche Taycan and change the sound. Now, it's a little bit difficult to get these parts. In fact, so far, the only way to get them has been the summit, but also the challenges grind. Now, in this video, I'm going to be unlocking another one, but I wanted to start by showing you exactly what you're looking at. So, in the vanity, which is pretty popular in the crew to customize your car, if you go all the way down, you will notice audio signature. This changes the sound of the car completely. So, let me do a quick back-to-back. -back. Here's my idol. There's my rev and a little bit of... It sounds pretty decent. What would be better though is this idle, this rev, and this acceleration. Oh my god. The weird thing about this Taycan is that it's got one gear, right? <laughs> It's an electric car as a tip too. It might be one of those. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't have gears in the same way a normal car does. So what you get is this long-winded whine as if you're in the final drive. Absolutely pushing. <laughs> For the top speed of the car. Now you can do this to any car in the game. The difference with other games is that yes, you get an actual physical engine swap. However, this is just the sound. You can go into any vehicle you see fit. For example, how about <laughs> this Ivory Tower Falcon R? Go into customize, go into vanity and go, no, 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 V12. Let's do a nice little startup. <laughs> Why is this so ridiculous? I don't know what this thing sounded like before, but... I don't care! It's now a V12! It feels like Lamborghini made this by looking at the damn thing, but it's so sick! Now, to tell you how to get this V12 sound, this one actually I found to be quite easy. I, in fact, unlocked this one before importing my cars. The Lamborghini playlist... Okay, it's actually glitched for me a little bit. I can't claim some of this stuff without it crashing, but technically, I have claimed it. The V12 engine. Some of these challenges, which I'll show you now, are very, very easy. The majority of them using the Diablo that you get for pretty much completing the playlist. That's what I like to see. Not forgetting the Miura that makes up another lot of them. The Miura you have to buy to get into the playlist anyway. But that, my friends, is not the only engine swap available. The other engine swap that I want to show you today that we're going to be unlocking because I've completed these challenges here. That's right, my friends. A big old V8 motor. That's what I'm talking about. American muscle. One challenge left. Now, these challenges, I would actually say they took me a little bit longer than the Lamborghini ones, but since importing my cars, we've had a heck of a lot of an easier time. Did that make sense? The challenge I'm going to do is the Black Beach to the Barriers Point Harbour. Drive there, and that's it. The V8 is mine. Here's the drive we must do for this challenge, in case you're working on it. Call me Mr. Geographical. I actually took geography. It was a mistake. The starting location. I really hope the V8 sounds something like this. I would be all over it. Oh, God. Oh, this is going so well. Oh, now I'm fully stuck. Ah, bit of boost. There we go. Now, I am curious how people are going to get along with this engine swaps idea because it is a little bit different for the crew. In most games, basically what you get is an actual engine swap. This time, it's audio only, which in my opinion would probably help for balancing. The crew didn't really need help with balancing. It needed some cars to be a little bit quicker. I guess when you take into account that different classes because you don't want it to jump to hypercar. I think overall, I'm open to it. I'm excited. And we'll see how we get on. As long as I can put a V8 in everything. Crossing the bridge into the harbour we go. Excuse me. I actually need more. <gasps> He's done it. I was going to say I need more horns. Thank you. Thank you. We've got the rewards. All we got to do is claim them. Now, at first, I was wondering, do you actually get only one of these rewards? Because it cycles a few of them. Because I only just saw the tires, for example. No, 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 no. You get all of them. I'm actually going to claim my uh, other stuff too. 3,000. Give me the... Yeah, this keeps happening. Come on, give me the muscle. Give me the muscle. The first time I actually claimed one of these to make sure I got the engine, I clicked it when the engine showed up. It, you, you get everything, okay? I can't help myself but use the take on. V12, be gone. Say hello to the V8 motor. 
Here we go. Epic V8. Just to clarify, it's not called the Epic V8. I actually need to get out of here. I can all I can hear is the bloody festival music. Here, this will be nice and quiet, won't it? That fast travel is so quick. Oh my god, the idol. <laughs> It's a classic old VA mode up. Oh, yes. Do you know what's incredible to think about? Electric cars are really struggling with car sounds. Why don't they just go to these game developers that are literally using their car models, part of the contract, and say, oh, by the way, we also get to use your car sound because you did it better than us. Oh, my God. This is the longest revving V8 in the world. Here's a curiosity. If you put a V8 in a really high revving vehicle, would you get the highest revving V8 to ever exist, potentially? So this already does, what, 9,000, which is ridiculous. So let's try, oh, my God, the interior. Holy crap, that sounds amazing. Okay, let's get to this nice straight here. And all of a sudden, we're going to do the boost. <laughs> okay, I need something that revs higher. What revs higher than a bloody... 9,000, that it? No, 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 no. It's not good enough. Good old Mazda RX-7. It's gotta be done, right? Surely, surely we can get this thing to rev to the high heavens. V8, let's go. Right, it revs to 8. Yeah. <laughs> this just seems so wrong, doesn't it? If you watch a lot of car YouTube... This isn't even weird to you, I'm sure. V8's in absolutely everything. That is the way it's gonna be for me. The way it just feels like a V8 as well is really, really impressive. <laughs> oh, I love the hand motion in this. Now, according to the internet, the Aerial Atom 500 revs to over 10,000 RPM. Unfortunately, this is not the case here. It's just a normal bloody area latter. I almost bought that. The 911 GT3 RS, I'd much prefer the new one. But this thing revs to 9,000 RPM. So it's the perfect candidate for my V8 motor. This just feels wrong. I'm gonna be honest. I am the type of person that says yes, V8 all the things. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> if I'm honest, in my dream, all-wheel drive, V8, tur twin-turbo, Porsche, 911, I kind of live for it. I absolutely would be at the door buying it. However, on this old GT3, it just, it just feels a little bit odd. Maybe on, like, the turbo, because then you take the Panamera engine, and you put it in the that would kind of make sense. But how weird is this? I definitely need to try the V12 in this as well. It just feels so ridiculous. There's other things I need to try. For example, trying it on a bike. What about a boat? A V12 boat? Let's quickly go in here. I'm having so much fun just swapping the sound of the car. This might seem like a gimmick to you, but to me, it is not. I genuinely am going to keep the V8 on pretty much most of my cars. V12? <laughs> I mean, we just kind of doubled it, right? <laughs> A little bit. Kind of. It kind of sounds like it works. I feel like I'm doing Forza Horizon all over it. Just V12 swap everything. Onto the bikes. Oh. Oh, that's a real shame. It looks like we can't actually do any vanity sounds to the bikes. I mean, of the engine sounds. That's... Ah. Oh. That would have been so cool. I imagine boats and planes are the same, but for the sake of science, we are going to check that. On the planes, all we can do is smokes. <laughs> okay, I'm not even tires. Come on. What about the singular quad bike? You can't do anything. Okay, that's really, that sucks. <laughs> and finally, boats. We got vanity. No. You can do underglow, but not engine sound. Disappointing. Now let's fix some cars. This is the BMW M4. I have to check because, well, they've confused me with the door numbers. It should be the three. It's got two doors and a boot. Anywho, <laughs> this thing has grown on me a lot. The rear end, very Lexus-like. I like it. And the front end, we don't talk about the front end. Nonetheless, the biggest gaping issue with this, with this car, which my friends will be solved with the M5, However, I'm going to do it for us. Swapping in a proper engine. BMW discussed, how do you go from the V8 back? Clearly, the BMW engineers have no idea what they're doing. Don't worry, though. I am here. Oh, my God. That car is full. Look at that. Beautiful. Use, making use of that. Oh, the idle. Just sounds like an old, old engine. Yes! Oh, 
That's what I'm talking about. Sounds so good. It makes me like the BMW. It's even better than it doesn't sound like a German. V okay, that's I'm, that's a wrong move on my heart. On my part, it's disgraceful. Oh my god, the the, the noises you let off. Holy crap. There you go, BMW. I have solved it instantly. The M3 and 4 are better cars. Some would say this is better. Some would say this is worse. The Toyota Supra drift car with a V8. Why is it better in any way? They could have made it on the LC body. Like, let's be real. That's the way they were gonna go. But then BMW had to get involved. Disgraceful, apparently. Apparently, according, according to me. <laughs> V8. I don't know. I, th I actually don't know on this one. So I don't spook myself. I'm actually going to take that off. <laughs> what I do need is a proper, proper JDM sound. Now you might be saying, Theo, this already has a V8. It's a four crown Victoria. Also, why are you that interested? It's a bloody limo. <laughs> so what I thought I would do is uh, take it and put a V12 in it. Because oh, it's also a drift limo, by the way. Fine. Go into the vanity and oh, we can do it. V12. This is so wild. <laughs> Doesn't know what to do with the gearing. <laughs> it only revs to six and a half, which is pretty hilarious. But it seems like, to be honest, we were looking for really high revving cars. They've kind of just mapped it. This thing is so wide. I don't. I don't know what to do with it. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Big skid. Big handbrake. <laughs> oh man, what an incredible interior as well. Wood grain on the dash. How are you doing back there, folks? It, it doesn't show you properly. It's just like, no, no, no. Just show the roof. Okay. Okay, that's all you want to play. That's all you want to play. Oh, that is weird. Isn't it weird thinking about the fact that there's like 20 meters of car behind? Okay, so 10, 7, I don't know. How long is this thing? I wish someone would tell me. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry in advance. The Zonda R, one of the best sounding cars ever created. Not in the crew though. It's fine. Uh, we can make it sound a bit different, which is nice. Swap the V12. It's a bit more high pitched, isn't it? It might actually fit better. <laughs> Never did a thing I'd ever say that. Please don't shoot me. I had to give it a go. <laughs> this is wrong. No. I really hope we get like Japanese V8 noises. That would be so good. The RB18. This thing has the ability to swap the engine. We have to try this. So in case you don't know, they've kind of decreased and made more efficient the engines when it comes to Formula One cars. This has a V6 in it. Quite depressing to think about where they came from. This thing revs to 15,000 RPM. Let's see what it's like with a V8. I kind of was surprised to see it, to be honest. Maybe they didn't sign up. Maybe they didn't have to sign off in it. V8. Holy crap, we've still got 15,000. It's th they don't make it rev any higher. That's such a shame. But uh, let's see if the limiter goes. <sighs> I really don't know what to feel. I kind of miss the Red Bull noise. I, I really hope that we can get the Red Bull F1 sound and shove it onto like my 350Z. <laughs> that would be amazing. However, not that impressed with the V8. Let's add a few more cylinders. Yeah. I mean, it works better. I might miss the V6. I can't believe I'd ever say anything like that. It's kind of disgusting, but back to it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It's kind of good. The V12 might work. There's a few more engine swaps that I want to unlock. Mainly, inline four turbo rally engine. That would sound so, so sick. So I definitely need to jump on these off-road challenges because I think I have pretty much all the vehicles. Let me know if you want to see more engine swaps and any engine swaps you've discovered that are super sick. And check out these things here. One of them is a video. Smash like, subscribe, and peace.